I didn't mind chauffeuring back in the day during off-peak hours, but when you're dealing with some traffic like this, this is horrific. I do not miss it for one moment, thank you, Jesus. I didn't mind hustling, but something about that traffic, ladies and gentlemen, something about that traffic. Anyway, gonna meet up with the missus. Just got done with a little bit of wahoos with the missus. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna sneak around backside and go to this cheap gas station I just saw. We're gonna go ahead and fill her on up. Well, not like fill her all the way up, but I do wanna go out probably tomorrow and I do need to take care of my car. We need to figure out what's going on with this truck hunting action in the books. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a wheel and deal going on tomorrow. There is an off-roader, off-road racer that I am gonna go take a little gander on tomorrow, unless otherwise, if I don't see it or if I don't feel it, I'll scratch it. But I kinda am thinking about seeing what we can get ourselves into. Exciting, for sure. Time to Goodwill some goodies. Okay, folks, quick spin around, couple complexes before we head home for the night. Let's go. As I'm going around here, guys, I got a quick story to say, and it's not, I'm not telling this story to shame on this guy, but I'm telling the story about sometimes you gotta go up and you gotta say something. So let me tell you my story here. So as I was dropping off the Goodwill, if you rewind the shot of there was a truck inside the parking lot and uh, this guy was kind of lurking around with his truck, it was full of stuff. It seemed like he was dropping off and that's what he wants to attempt to look like, that he's dropping off stuff. Sorry, the missus was calling, so let me back it up again. So as I was pulling in, there was that guy kind of lurking around in his truck and I was like, all right, is this guy dropping off stuff or is he lurking around? So after I drop off the stuff, I'm on the phone with Wells Fargo and he parks right behind me and I was like okay he's just getting closer to drop his stuff off I go to do a u-turn out of the parking lot and I see him crowded around he what he did is he blocked all the stuff I dropped off with his truck okay real quickly there's people showing up right here they're walking around but I want to show you one rack there's a metal rack right over here that's actually really nice too big for my garage but there it is very nice rack right there sweet anyway let's go ahead and move forward here sorry it's a little dark but there's some more people getting uh, in and out of their goodies here, which are literally right behind me. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and talk now. Okay, we're far enough in front of them. So I see him start to load up the stuff I literally just dropped off before I even leave the parking lot. And I look across the street and there was actually another Mercedes Benz that was actually parked on the curb kind of observing this because I think they might have saw him try to take some stuff earlier, maybe even from the stuff that they dropped off. So I literally, I get off the phone with Wells Fargo, I'm like, I gotta call you back. And I just walked up to him and I said, sir, I said, those items are for goodwill. And like a bunch of my stuff is already in his truck. He literally was grabbing all my stuff and putting it in his truck. And so we just got into a conversation. I wasn't mad at him. I wasn't yelling at him saying, put that back now. I just said, sir, man to man, what you're doing right now is you're stealing. And he said, oh, I'm a veteran. I'm, you know, social security doesn't pay anything. I said, sir, I'm a reseller too. I don't make that much money. I said, those items were placed there for jobs for Goodwill, for Goodwill. And he came up with a bunch of excuses saying that they told him he could take it. And I said, sir, no, they didn't. I said, sir, those items are for Goodwill. That is not okay for you to take. And he was trying to make up some excuses. And I just looked at him. I said, listen, I said, man to man, I want you to put these items back and they are not for you. And he just started putting them back. I said, do you need help? He said, no, no, it's okay. And I said, okay, you have a good night. Is he probably gonna take them? I, I hope not. He looked, he was putting them back when I finished and walked away, but literally it's just disappointing guys. It's disappointing. We all do bad things, but sometimes we have to let people know what's right and what's wrong. God will do his part, but sometimes we have to step in and help the Lord work out what is good and what is evil as well because sometimes people's judgment is clouded. And I'm not saying this to puff up my own pride. Look at Chris, oh, you did such a good thing. No, not at all. But it was an opportunity and it wasn't right and I took the opportunity to correct him. So hopefully, God willing, we'll all be better people because of that. 
anyway, that's my story for the night. Let's continue to dumpster dive. Again, it's real interesting dumpster diving this early. I definitely don't like it, but with my new sleep schedule, I'm gonna have to get used to it for a little bit here. You know what, I used to find a ton of stuff during the actual daytime. So I think I'm gonna start, wow, there's a bunch of stuff there. Oh, hey, there's some stuff over there on the other side. We might have to go take a little peek Saruni. Trash, we will see. But I, I, I used to find a ton of stuff during the actual daytime, so I might actually, you know, nighttime is obviously better for digging through and all that kind of stuff. But if you're sly about it, you know, people, you know, they mind their own business. They're busy watching TV. Might be sometimes better than really late at night. So let's go ahead and get after a little bit here. We're going to hit about maybe another four or five complexes tonight. We're going to let the missus have a little chill time. There's a little bed frame mattress over there in the dark and so it's a good night tonight's wednesday night tonight was one of my favorite nights sunday night is definitely my favorite night but we're just gonna have to make it work baby that's the name of the game the missus wants to spend time with me hey we're gonna go to bed we're gonna spend some time together you know what i'm saying it doesn't mean we can't do a little peek saruni all right boxes carpet Let's proceed forward. By the way, the missus was super pumped up about those Hollister uh, sweatpants and the uh, workout top headband. She really liked that. She's like, did you find any sports bras? I was like, oh man, there was probably some in that bag. I should have probably had paid a little bit closer attention. A couple goodies right over here. I'm going in for a closer look. Man, someone threw away a lot, a lot of furniture, I'll tell you what. There were office chairs, there was a table and chairs, there was like an easy bake oven, there was a lot of clothes, nothing worth really grabbing to be honest with you, but again, if I had a bachelor pad, just so much like nice furniture that if you had a big garage, you could flip this stuff for a hundred bucks easily. Chairs and a table, hundred bucks all day long. It's big, you're gonna have to store it. But again, I mean, probably that stop alone would fetch you if you were a Craigslist hustler with a couch and storage room. And just that stop alone was easily 150, 175 all day long, easy, easy. I take that back. There was actually two tables, kitchen tables. One even had glass. That was probably a 250 stop. Now we need to go buy some more waters and head to Trader Joe's once again. Errands are done. Let's go ahead and continue the hunt tonight. What do we got here, folks? What do we got? We got a sectional cow. Take a look at that. A sectional. And then we got some like electronics down at the other end. I need to double back around. Go take a look. 9.44 p.m. Unfortunately, it's just so early. Normally what happens is some people actually take the cushions off of the couches, which renders the couch pretty much useless. Kind of a bummer that they do that. But a lot of people's couch cushions are all messed up. Nothing down that aisle there. So unfortunately, they take the couch cushions and then they're like, oh, oh well, deal with it. And you're like, hey, I'm trying to like have a couch for the man cave. And then you're like, oh, I ain't got no cushions. And then you're like, oh man. So anyway, we're gonna go back there. We got a nice bit of action over here. Let's go take a look. Uh -huh. 